Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build and construct the fence to enclose this garbage enclosure. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end so you won't miss out on any details of how you can do this kind of work as well. So yesterday I uploaded a video of how we poured all of the nine concrete footings and today they are dried and ready so we can go ahead and start putting the rails and building this fence to enclose the garbage area. We're gonna try to get most of this done. Right now we're starting to cut this curb frame, the forms that were kind of in the way. We had these brackets that the supplier gave us, but when we checked them out, we noticed that they weren't gonna work because we wanted the fence panel to be flush on the outside of the, of the whole perimeter. In order to do that, it's a different type of bra a bracket, which I'll show you here in a little bit. In the meantime, while I go get that, we have to cut all these posts at the top. So we're just, we basically got the level and we started from the, the post that is the tallest and we measured the height and, and that height is the same all the way around. The shortest one is six foot, two inches tall and then the rest of them kind of match that height. So that's what we're doing right here. We, we basically marked all of those posts. We're cutting each one of those six by six and if needed, you can cut it with a circular saw, but sometimes since they're so thick, you can also use a sawzall. We have that one right there. It works perfectly. So you can just cut it all out and that will get you the, the post ready so that you can go ahead and install the rails. But here it is. Once we cut all of these ones, everything is looking nice and clean and perfect, ready for us to put those brackets for the fence rails. Now, all of this material that we use was six by six pressure treated posts. The rails that are gonna go in between are gonna be two by six pressure treated. And, uh, you know, meanwhile, I went out to get a few things ready. These are the brackets right there. They, they're um, perfect to put them right at the edge. They have some holes on the inside, which fasten it to the six by six post. And then they also have some holes on the outside and that's how you fasten the two by six post to those brackets. So the strategy here, we're gonna be putting one two by six at the very top. So it'll be flush with the, with the surface of the post. And then we're also gonna put another two by six foot post at the very bottom. And then in between, we're actually gonna put two, two posts. Right here, the guys started to install it however they thought, but actually, when I got the plans, we double checked them and we noticed that it calls for four rails because it doesn't want, it, it wants the, the rails to be two feet on center, separated from, from each other, maximum. So we can't have a space uh, taller than two feet in between the rails. And we noticed that we, when we measured it and everything, we were gonna have a lot more if we only put three. So we changed the strategy a little bit, but it's pretty simple. What we're gonna do is measure from the bottom eight inches high. That's gonna be like the maximum. <clears throat> and then from there, that's gonna be our, our lowest rail. And then at the top, we're just gonna put it at the very top flush with the six by six post. So then in between, we're just gonna need to have two rails that and by doing it that way, we're gonna be well below the two feet on center that the site plan is asking for. So we just wanna follow that because in this case, you know, we're going through an inspection and I'm very sure that the inspector, he's gonna pull the site plan and check everything. So if you don't do it per plan, that could be the risk. You know, if you do it, you know, if the guys here, they would have done it however they thought was best or however, however they liked it, then we, we, we could have probably not passed the inspection and had to redo it which would be crazy, like do, having to do everything again. So, you know, just make sure whoever you have on site that they're always double checking the plan and doing it according to that. That will keep the inspectors really happy and you're, you're gonna make sure that you're gonna pass and, and do it right the first time. So, because tomorrow I'm gonna upload the video of how to 
assemble and install the sliding gate and there's also gonna be uh there's gonna be two gates one gate that opens out and then another gate that slides so that will be really fun you know um that that will be my next video that i'll upload so um stay tuned for that one today mostly i'm gonna show you how to put these rails and then also how to install the fence panels so once you have the bottom laid out like right here we measured from the lowest point eight inches high that's the the line from the bottom of the hardware then from there you just get that same line you know straight and then you want to mark the next bracket so that it is level and then once you install it you'll put the two by six on there and always you know check the the level just to make sure everything is is perfect then from there the top one is pretty straightforward. That has a pretty standard um, uh, placement. So we, we put the, the top one there in place. And once we have those two, then we measure the total distance, you know, from the top rail to the bottom rail on center. And that will give us uh, an idea of the next two in between the height that they need to be. So we're gonna do that for each area in between the nine posts. We almost have this right side completed. We already got the left side done and we already started to put the fence panels. Those fence panels, the site plan, it asks us that from the bottom, they're um, four inches, you know, above the, the ground. So that's what we're doing. We're just, we, we measured, it, it has like a, a gap, you know, of, of uh, minimum or, or maximum four inches from, from the bottom. So we're, we're going from the, the highest point or yeah, the basically like wherever it's the lowest and we're measuring up the four inches. And then from there, we run that straight line all the way through. So it will, it will keep us in the, the depth within the, the dimensions that, that they want us to have. So once you put the fence panel, that's pretty much done. Now we're securing all of those temporarily with a finished nailer that helps us just to move down the line pretty quickly and then afterwards we're gonna go ahead and just secure them with um, some coil uh, a coil siding nailer that we have and uh, we're using galvanized nails that are one and three quarter inch long and that's perfect you know to secure and fasten these fence panels to the um, the rails and uh and that's pretty much it you know you basically just continue the process over there on the back we're going to put the fence panel on the inside but everywhere else the fence panels they're going to go on the outside so it'll be a nice clean look then at the very end we're going to go ahead and stain everything so this material will last a very long time but that's pretty much the process of how you can assemble the rails and the fence panels we hope you like this video Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any videos that we'll be uploading every single day. In the description below, I'll leave several links with materials we recommend. May God bless you and I'll see you on the next video.